How you doing? It's Ryan with 1075 Emergency Vehicles. Come check out this week's build showcase of this 2020 Ford F-250 for the Franklin Township Fire Prevention. What we're taking a look at today is this 2020 Ford F-250 for the Franklin Township Fire Prevention. Vehicle features sound off signals, blueprint electrical system uh, with our OBD2 reader. Gives us complete control of all the warning lights, our scene lights, programmability, all the functions are there to make this vehicle work better for them. Uh, up top we have a sound off signal, Enforce light bar in dual color. What we did differently was we ordered it with the red top so the light bar blends in nicely with the vehicle. Uh, we got a Centina PB400 push bumper. We've got our four inch M powers on the front grille. We also have M powers down on the front bumper, kind of in a fog light area. Uh, they have the white override feature. Uh, one thing we also did was we put a uh, high power output jumper plug on the front. This is good for if you were to have to jump start a vehicle, you can hook up the cables to it. You don't need to actually hook up to your battery and you can just take the jumper cables, hook it up to the vehicle. You can also run uh, any power equipment, scene lights. If you had a portable winch, you could run it off that too. It's very versatile for the application. Uh, we also have a headlight flasher that's currently on Park Kill. Uh, all of our white flashing lights shut off when the vehicle is put in park automatically. So we don't use the slide switch to have your Park Kill. It's done all. It's done automatically through the Blueprint Link system, which reads the transmission signal. So taking a look at the side, uh, we did a custom graphics package for them. Um, their patch, all the 3M reflective material. We did a M Power on the front fender logo. We also did sound off signal N forces in the rear side windows. One thing that we do for them is we add flashing lights to the side panels. They could also do a scene light function through the blueprint if you so wish. We've tinted out the back windows. We designed a custom organizer that we've done for them in the past. This one's for the Ford, so they've got room for uh, their pack, extinguishers, any tools that they want to mount, and it still gives the seat the full recline. We also, we also did a storage drawer on the bottom of it, so this gives them plenty of room for any little incidentals, meters, flares, stuff like that. So taking a look at the back of the truck, you can see we've got the Magnum headache rack. We put FireTech uh, scene lights on the back and we also gave them a switch back here to turn them on. Gives them extra scene lighting. Same thing for our white lights in the back here. You have more scene lighting on and off. And then on the back we've got four sound off signal four inch M powers. Red amber, as you saw with the white override, they can come on with reverse, your rear scene, um, provides extra scene lighting where you wouldn't normally have it with a warning light. All done through the blueprint system, gives you multiple different areas to turn on the same light head and still give you the same functionality. So taking a look at the passenger side of the vehicle, you can see we have a similar setup to the other side. We have their flashlight installed. Um, we've got another parts drawer. So taking a look at the uh, front area we've got the front of the cabinet with a strap on the front of it so you can store any binders anything like that you may want we custom designed a console for them um, this has a large map clipboard pocket we've got a locking compartment here so they can lock up any equipment any valuables wallet stuff like that cup holders 12 volt usb we've got our blueprint control system we've got their radio installed we reintegrated their factory usb Thanks for checking out our channel today. If you have any interest in a vehicle like this or a different vehicle designed better to suit your needs, please feel free to reach out to us. Give us a call, shoot us an email, shoot us a direct message, comment on the video. We'd love to answer any questions that you have.